The past year and a half is one that was filled with challenges, but that didn't stop our regions from rising to those challenges. Our regions provided programming, whether virtual or on the pitch, for our players and families. And we want to thank everyone for their dedication and commitment to enriching children's lives through soccer. And we also want to spotlight a few regions who put on programs during this challenging time. The Region 390 Fall Program was in-house with Jamboree-style practices, hand sanitizers, masks, and lots of fun. Their VIP program was socially distanced, and the games were modified into sections so players would be working on passing and distancing. Region 1112 took on the coronavirus challenge and still managed to register 1,417 players and played 754 games. Players had to wear masks to and from the field, but not during play on the field. Coaches and spectators are required to wear masks at all times. Spectators are limited to the player's immediate family living in the same household. Region 1564 ran a full eight-week season for fall 2020. They implemented COVID safety precautions and the season was a great success. Region 69 accommodated 400 players in a social distanced, practice only, 11-week program with all the COVID protocols in place. They dedicated the season to George Wolfberg, former coach, RC, National Board of Directors member, national referee, and community activist. It was through George's efforts that AYSO was able to secure Will Rogers State Park as a venue in the late 1970s. Each player received a gold practice jersey in his memory. Region 1463 Murrieta hosted a seven week long skills development program, which provided children from schoolyard up into 16U an opportunity to hone their soccer skills via a weekly themed lesson plans. These plans placed a major emphasis on passing, shooting, dribbling, spatial awareness, technique and isolation, and much more. The Fall Skills Development Program was a big hit. Region 815 put on a Fall 2020 season. They had 4U Playground all the way through 14U up and going. They worked with Kent County Parks Department along with other regions to work out a full plan for the Fall 2020 season. They started the season on time and even added two weeks for the 12 to 14 U programs. Region 114 ran a modified program in the fall with weekly training, socially distanced of course, and then Saturday challenges where the player tried to beat their previous scores and skills like juggles and dribbling, etc. They would receive videos during the week demonstrating the skill and be able to work on it prior to the Saturday challenge. Region 305 VIP fall season was treated as a skills clinic with conditioning coupled with agility drills to strengthen the player's skills while also introducing new ones along the way. Region 1079 fall 2020 was challenging to get together to meet requirements, but they were able to put together a great co-ed season to keep the kids active and they had over 375 participants from ages four to 14 over five divisions with lots of new families who were excited to play some soccer. Region 183 worked out a unique partnership with Region 418. The city of Chicago had closed the majority of Region 418's fields at the lakefront. So they did a combination skills and drills program at the fields for the players for both regions. Region 568 ran a highly modified soccer program in fall 2020, but the overwhelming feedback from the members was one of gratitude for giving their kids some much needed physical activity in as safe an environment as possible. Region 41 partnered with UK International Soccer in the fall of 2020 to provide a Friday night development academy for 8U and above. Then. They launched a Saturday morning program with UK International Soccer for the 4U Playground, 5U Schoolyard, and 6U Divisions. Region 154 ran a very fun and engaging social media campaign while the fields were dark during COVID. Once they were clear to start practices, they brought back as many players as felt comfortable with COVID Safe Fall Academy. Region 820 in Menifee, California offered a fall skills development program complete with masks, temperature checks, and social distancing. The kids had a blast, relishing the opportunity to get out of the house, socialize, and work on their soccer skills in the middle of the COVID-19 shutdown. We want to say thank you to all the regions who did everything they could to keep soccer going during this incredibly difficult time period. We look forward to seeing everyone 
out on the pitch again soon.